Good evening, everyone, and welcome to another edition of the Android News Byte. Today, I wanted to highlight the new update to Majisk, which has brought its version up to 30.0. And while there aren't any large user-facing changes to speak of, the developers do need your help testing this new update. If you haven't been following along, the folks behind Majisk have been in the process of migrating and refactoring a ton of its code base. This is something that John Wu has been working on since 2022, but over the last couple of years, there seems to have been a lot of progress made. In May 2025, we learned that 40% of the native code for Majisk had been rewritten in Rust, but the team was not done and there were already several major subsystem rewrites in the PRQ. And this week, John has published the changelog for version 30.0 of Majisk. Just be aware that this is a pre-release build and should be treated as such. Right off the bat, you can see that they were able to migrate the way Majisk implements its module system over to Rust. And they did the same with its compression code as well. Beyond changing some of its code from C++ to Rust, the team was also able to improve the logic that it used to inject specific files when patching firmware within its binaries and they have committed to a few minor bug fixes to this update as well. There really isn't much more to this specific update. Version 30.0 of Majisk is unlikely to stay around for long unless everything was implemented 100% correctly. We are probably going to see some major tweaks relating to what we see here in this changelog. With major refactoring and the migration of code happening to Majisk right now, the team wants to make sure that its transition is as smooth as possible. So they are asking the community to help test everything out. We have already seen reports of some people having issues granting root access to apps that have already been given that permission and this is to be expected with a pre-release build. But thankfully, they were able to easily switch back to version 29, and it's working as you would expect. So you'll definitely want to keep that in mind when testing out this early build. Now, I appreciate you all for sticking with me to the end of this video. It really means a lot to see so many of you watching all the way to the end. And if you would, please remember to give this video a like as it really helps to support the channel. And don't forget to click that subscribe button either for more Android news content like this.